Why would you ever think to compare a truck to an SUV? But for Tesla owners, they offer a lot of the same things. They're about the same price, they have a similar range, and they both offer a lot of utility. So let's break it down. Today, we'll put the Cybertruck side by side with the Model X, breaking down unique characteristics and features to see which of these Teslas wow, that's loud. strikes the perfect balance as a family EV. Not gonna let me do it. To many people's surprise, the Cybertruck and Model X do share a very similar footprint. The two Teslas measure almost identical in width, while the truck edges out the SUV with the height advantage of about 3 inches when on their lowest suspension settings. The most obvious difference coming in length where the Cybertruck measures more than 2 feet longer than the Model X. But will Tesla's two biggest EVs fit in a tight 15 by 19 foot garage? So I completely chickened out and I'm going to have my husband park it in the garage for me. I'll film, <laughs> I'll film and let him do it. So close on that mirror. Wow, that is crazy. It feels like he is so close. Let me check the back and see if you're clear. You are good, you are inside. I am so scared. Is he gonna fit inside of here? It's tight, it's tight. You might need to close your mirrors. You can go forward. You still have about a foot. You made it in here. Are you in all the way? I can't even, I'm stuck, guys. I have to go sideways to fit through right here. You're in. Goodness, yeah. Wow. You don't have too much room to maneuver between, but it does fit. Well, if you ever want to know if you can fit a Model X and a Cybertruck in a very small, technically two-car garage, um, but that's kind of debatable. Check this out. You can you can fit them, but you better be fit too because uh, it's a squeeze. It's a squeeze to get through here, and it's going to be difficult to open up, especially the Cybertruck doors. Should we even try to open up the Model X wings and see what happens? Oh my! I am ready to stop it. I think it got scared itself, this is it. But you could kind of like get in there still. Now you can always override the Falcon doors to open wider, but with kids is where it really gives you the extra edge. It makes it so easy to put a kid into their car seat and these work like umbrellas. It's just so easy not having to thread the needle. Now look what happens with the Cybertruck. It's also pretty easy. These doors actually open 90 degrees. So again, you don't have to thread the needle. It's pretty easy to put your child into their car seat, but no umbrella. And also if you're really close to somebody, look at this, don't you have to have that me, space. Mom don't, touch me. Mom, don't touch me. Both the Model X and Cybertruck are equipped with air suspension. The Cybertruck offers 12 inches of travel and 17 inches of ground clearance, while the X offers almost 3 inches of travel and ground clearance of 8 inches. So I love the yoke in our Model X, but there's one thing that does make it difficult, and that is a roundabout. So look at what happens. Look at this right here. It's kind of a little bit awkward with the yoke. I don't have steer by wire. You know, it's kind of just like a weird sort of scenario. So I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna do the same roundabout with the Cybertruck so you guys can see what that looks like. This ram. Oh, we got a ram. Who's, uh... It's funny how he doesn't even notice. It's like I'm a real truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla owners notice, obviously. Okay, wow, just turning in is a different experience. But notice I don't even have to go all the way around. Again, it hasn't even gone around all the way yet. So it's so much easier to do a roundabout with steer by wire. Model X has a yoke and the Cybertruck has a squircle. Now I wish that we had the horn in the center like the Cybertruck, but we don't. But otherwise they're pretty similar. On the Model X, your turn signals are haptic feedback buttons. While on the Cybertruck, they're your classic push buttons. Both Teslas use the swipe to drive method, but in the Model X, you'll find a 12.3 inch instrument cluster not available in the truck. The Cybertruck offers an 18.5 inch center screen with a 9.4 inch rear touch screen, while the Model X has a slightly smaller but movable front screen and the identical rear screen. All right, I need to take a breather and sit. I actually just had surgery. So some of you guys know that I have BRCA1 and I decided to have several preventative surgeries to prevent cancer and I actually just had abdominal surgery. 
a few weeks ago. But this year, I'm really trying to prioritize not only my physical health, but also my mental health. And that is why I'm so honored to be sponsored by BetterHelp on this video. BetterHelp makes starting therapy so much easier and less intimidating. They let you have therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even messaging. And they're giving my viewers 10% off their first month just by using my link, betterhelp.com slash kimjava. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise that may be available in your city. To get started, it's really easy. You fill out a questionnaire about what challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like, and then BetterHelp matches you with a therapist. The best part is, if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit for you, you can change therapists with just a click of the button and there's no additional cost and you don't have to go through that awkward breakup with your therapist. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash kimjava. Clicking that link also helps support this channel, but it will also give you 10% off your first month so you can connect with the therapist and get the help you need. All right, I'm feeling better. Let's go. The Cybertruck does have the option for aero covers where the Model X does not, but this owner already had to replace their tires because the old aero covers actually kind of had an issue where the rubber hit the sidewall and was causing damage. So they already replaced it. And I hear they're getting a new redesign for the aero covers, but the Model X doesn't have aero covers, but it does beat the Cybertruck on range. Our Model X is rated for 335 miles, but I've noticed in real world settings, it's getting more like 285 miles. Now with the Cybertruck, it is rated for 340 miles, but I talked to the owner and he's getting more like 240 miles and that's even driving conservatively with the arrows on. On the road, both Teslas are extremely comfortable, but the Model X was noticeably quieter in the cabin, measuring between 50 and 60 decibels at around 65 miles an hour. But the Cybertruck reached those decibels at only 45 miles an hour. The Cybertruck did have aftermarket tires, which could have contributed, while the X has noise noise cancellation technology built into each seat, which also helps keep it quiet. So you might be wondering if you can sleep inside of the Cybertruck. Well, it's about six feet, so if you're short like me, you could sleep back here, but the best option is probably the camper accessory. Now with the Cybertruck, you could also sleep in the second row, but maybe on the shorter side because my feet are hanging out the edge. Now, if you want to be able to sleep inside your Model X, you need either the five seat or the seven seat option, not the six seat like we have, because with ours, the second row will not fold flat. So only the five and the seven, the second row folds flat. One of the reasons that I want to get a Cybertruck is really just being able to throw all of our bikes into the back of the bed. Let's see. I'm going to put, get my husband to help me with this one. Yeah, basically a 10 second process versus about a 10 or 15 minute process. You can tie it down with those brackets if you need to. Can we fit all five of our bikes back there? If you had some sort of a mount to keep them upright, that'd probably be better, but you could probably put a couple more around it. And then what about the Model X? What's that process like? Yeah, so you've got to take the hitch cover off down here, put the hitch on, then bring the bike rack over, mount this one. It takes about 10 minutes or so with the bikes getting on top of it. So which one would be easier? <laughs> yeah. The Cybertruck tows up to 11,000 pounds, while the Model X tops out at less than half that number. The X can fit up to seven passengers, while the Cybertruck tops out at five. So one more thing I wanna say about this is it's razor sharp and it's very heavy duty. So, you know, with any car, it's gonna be easy to door ding, but with this, it could cause some serious damage if your kid just swung the door open. All right, so I'm gonna get Liam to help me with this because he's actually had his head stuck in the wing of the Model X before. Yeah. We've done videos before where we have smashed all kinds of fruit in the wings of the Model X, but now we're gonna try it with the Cybertruck. So these are your fingers today, okay? Yeah. Don't use your real fingers. These uh, are your fingers. Uh. Here's what I want you to do. You are going to, whoa. whoa. Did you see how close that got to our car? That's almost scary. Don't put your fingers closer. Yeah. And I'm gonna close the front trunk, okay? Oh, slice. It took it right off. Now imagine if that was your finger. There's no sensor and this thing is sharp. I think there is a torque sensor. So go ahead and close it and I will hold it back. Yeah, see that's, that's not too much, too much pressure by me. So if that is your entire neck, you should yeah. be okay. So if you watch my delivery video, you'll know that this thing almost took off my head. Whoa. 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 
but it's right at your head level. But I did notice that they've added um, a little bit of like a bumper on there so that it's not quite as sharp. Feel this, Liam. Sharp. It's pretty sharp, so yeah. look at this. It actually skins the cucumber because it's so sharp. So if you, I want you to slam the door right now and just see what happens. Yeah. What happens if you close the Model X wing? And let's do the same thing. Do we have another cucumber? Yeah. We're gonna put it right here. <laughs> well, the Model X wing did it too. So I don't know what that has to say. But again, this is a cucumber might be a little bit different if we did it with a carrot. Yeah. We use the front trunk of our Model X all the time. It's pretty good size. It's 6.5 cubic feet. I put my stroller in here. I'll put leftover takeout food, but it is a manual close. Now with the Cybertruck, you get a little bit more space. It's actually 7.1 cubic feet and it's an automatic soft close. The shape of it almost inhibits actually being able to use it because when I try to put it in here, it just, I can't quite figure out how to angle it. Let's see if that works. I almost need to be able to manually close it to get it to actually close. And this is a very small stroller, so I guess you can't fit a stroller inside the Cybertruck. At least not this stroller, maybe like an umbrella stroller. <sighs> it's not gonna let me do it. In the end, of course it really comes down to your use case. But what I personally love even more than the Cybertruck itself is its driving characteristics, which is incredible to say about a truck. It has the Model X feet with steer by wire. It's plenty spacious and comfortable and easy to maneuver. But ask anyone what the most important metric in an EV is, and they'll probably say range. Right now, it's definitely lacking in that range, but it's likely Cybertruck will get at least some range boost with future software optimizing motor output. We've seen it in every Tesla that we've owned. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time. All right, who has the better light show? Oh, the original song. Yeah. The Model X is not going. The Model X is just giving up. I think what's going on right now is the Model X actually needs more room to be able to open up its wings. So she just kind of gave up. Yes, she works when the Cybertruck is not next to her. I also feel like when the Model X came out, it had that same cool new feel that the Cybertruck has right now. And I wonder like eight years from now, like if the Cybertruck is still gonna be as cool as it is right now. You know, the future, will the future still look like the future? I, I don't know, I really don't know. I'm gonna say Model X light show, picks the cake. <laughs> as it like beeps, cause that's what she is. What is this? This is the Cybertruck. Wow, Cybertruck? Yeah, this is from Tesla. This is cool. Tesla, right? Thank you. <laughs> I just realized that we have both the truck and the car that we're talking about right now. These are the original spec posters. Obviously a little bit different than they originally were specced out to be. Cybertruck's a little bit smaller, about eight inches. And then look at the old Model X. It even has like the nose cone on it. So 